Well, I was going to say, in the legislative calendar, uh, five days, four days in week eight is a, I mean, in week nine is a pretty long time. We'll see what they do, see what goes back and forth, and uh, take it from there. Okay, so you're not willing to say it, you're not willing to accept the fact that they're saying there's no time left. Listen, people make all sorts of comments at the end of week nine, people get fatigued. I, I think, I think uh, they'll have to deal with it as they see fit. Do you think the, the gambling issue in the, uh, will remain unresolved until until the larger issue of the budget um, comes into better focus? Well, I haven't had really any direct involvement in the discussions back and forth between the chambers, but I know Chair, Galv Chair Galvano has been working very hard at that. Uh, and I think that, again, probably those issues will be worked on even as we speak and you know perhaps simultaneously. Uh, you probably have to ask Chair Galvano about that. But wouldn't it be tough to, I mean, it's, it's such a big part of the the budget framework. Well, it's a, it's a significant issue, but the revenue numbers are not that different. So I think that probably there's room within the context of conversations about the total revenue picture and the total expenditure picture uh, for that to be, uh, work, for that work to happen simultaneously. I don't think that poses a problem. What happened today on the budget talks? I know that uh, both the Speaker's office and the Senate President's office have been talking really since Thursday. It's been at their level uh, since last week. And so I know they're still communicating, and I've got a ton of confidence in Speaker Friedel and President Atwater uh, that they'll get the job. So you haven't, you haven't, you've been not directly involved since then? Yeah, or? really since last Thursday, all of the communications have been at the level uh, between Speaker Friedel and between President Atwater. So I know that they're working on that now. And uh, I, like I said, those two men are the leaders of our respective chambers. We've got a lot of confidence in that. Senator Alexander said that um, they thought they had some agreement on allocations at last Friday. But that that was then put off, you know, sent off track. Where are you today on allocations? Well, well, number one, like I said, since Thursday, all the communications have been between the speaker and the president. So uh, I, I don't I don't know where he gets that. But I know that they're still working on it. And again, I think that they're committed to respecting and uh, reflecting the priorities of both chambers in the end product, and I think they'll get it done. Is it safe to say that you will happen to now have an extended or a special session to resolve these matters? I think I think the, the practicality of both the printing and the 72-hour rule would mean that if they come to agreement on the top-line revenue numbers and the, and the expenditure numbers, that there would probably have to be some sort of extension to get it done. But again, first you've got to agree on how much, how much revenues you decide you're going to have to spend and how much reductions you're willing to make. Once they reach those conclusions, we'll see where we're at. Uh, we will see where we are at and then make the determination on how to do it. What is your understanding on how close Atwater and Creedle are in those discussions? Again, I haven't been involved in any of those conversations directly since last Thursday. Uh, neither has, I mean, at that point, it all went to the presiding officers. So I know they're working on it, and it involves, but the problem is because you have both recurring and non-recurring revenues, you can sometimes move you know, move up on one and back on the other on both the revenue side and the expenditure side. So I really don't know where they're at. But I think I think my understanding from the speaker is they feel like they're making some progress, and and I've got a, I've got a lot of confidence in Speaker Friedel and the president. Uh, to get it done. Does how representative is this? No, no, no. To, to get it to get it done. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say on time. We we, we covered that a second ago. Does, 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 does how close? Uh, yeah. Well, what I said a moment ago is given given the nature. Of practical demands of printing a budget, the 72-hour rule, and so on and so forth, if they can reach agreement, and, and, I, and again, I think they're working toward it, if they can reach agreement on the top line uh, revenues and expenditures, then probably some sort of extension would be necessary, uh, but first you've got to cross that first bridge. Once they, if they reach agreement on that, they will kind of look at where we are on the calendar and make a judgment there about uh, what needs are left to, to satisfy time for conference, time for the 72-hour rule, stuff like that. Well, does the chamber have to make a decision about an extension or a special session? Well, technically, day 60. Uh, you'd have to make a decision on that. Practically, with the chamber and, you know, your members and, and travel. Uh, again, it's, it's technically day 60, and, and I think I think that both of them will probably reach a conclusion on that at some point. Uh, and, and I have confidence that both those uh, men understand the priorities of the chamber, the realities of the calendar, and they're working to get it done. What is the question of extension or other issues are going to get bumped into? Yeah, one more. I can. If, this, if, if this does get extended, what is the likelihood that you're going to see other issues bumped into? And the Sunrail supporters already are talking about getting that added to whatever whatever extended time frame. Or you'd have to ask the speaker and the president. You know, my, my expectation is their goal would be address uh, the, 
to policy as we have time for policy. If necessary to do an extension, that may be part of their conversations. But again, that's all between the two presiding officers now, and uh, they'll handle it how they see best for the chamber. Chairman, thank you, guys. Thank you. If you're hearing you right, you're saying if you can reach out to